Pretty decent turnaround for episode one, as in the performance was fantastic, but I think it was mainly through a lot of tourists and my own community actually doesn't care. But hey, I promise if the views are up, we'll watch, but I guarantee you this is going to fall down. Now, episode one content, just like the story so far, it is just like going through a different world to gather resources, which just sounds like we're just going there to harvest isekai oil. I don't know what Amanda is thinking about, but that seems to be the plan. Send in the five evil people, which is like the Suicide Squad members in and extract it. We already met some antagonists that in... Was it Gotham in the beginning? I'm not sure. It was that Katana girl. That Katana girl already is formed a different team with other Isekai characters. It means like, and she's like reporting to a different boss. I'm not really sure, but hey, let's check out episode two. Yo, this thing looks so expensive. And then we're in like such... Okay, so this must be the Empress. This must be the Queen. This must be the Queen that was talking to Katana last episode, maybe? But like, goddamn, look how poor the entire village looks and you're gonna parade around it with this thing? <laughs> Jesus. The people must love you. <laughs> Dirty. Ew. Tax them harder. Why even parade like this? Oh, because that's the way home. Floating castle. So this is the human side, the queen of the human side. Last episode, they couldn't. This girl is definitely not Harley Quinn in disguise, right? Okay. The soldier is pretty good and is empathetic. What a piece of shit, Noble Girl. So the knights that are on the front lines actually understand the social economy of this world and the people are starving. And then the nobles at the top just like wave, even though they don't do anything, they wave around the knights pay in front of them and saying, oh, are you disappointed? You don't want any more money? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though. This guy's haircut, Lou, who is your barber? Who the fuck? I can't, I, don't, I can't even call you bald yet, and I can't even call you cul-de-sac yet. What the fuck is this haircut? Oh my goodness. That's a fucking crescent moon coming down here, man. But this guy's character so far, in terms of personality, seems to be the only reasonable one in this room. <laughs> Hello, queen. Man, I wish they would have made her really, really hot and be evil. Like in, you know, Rise of the Shield hero, like Malty, right? I mean, the queen was not evil, but like, she was super, super hot though, right? Reward them, they helped you. She reminds me of Harley Quinn, man. <laughs> What is the connection between these two girls? We save your ass in the front lines. You lock us up, and now we're trivial. The human side sucks. Let's go with the demon side, man. Oh, he's the hero? Oh! This guy is the hero! Mighty Knight who was blessed with the sacred armor of the princess herself. Really? Okay, I thought he was a random NPC knight. He has a fucking... Bro, what kind of hero has a unibrow as well, bro? With this clapped ass fucking hairline and the unibrow? Maybe fashion in this world is different and he's like really sick here, man. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Princess. What an unreasonable bitch. She gave him the sacred armor? Okay. <laughs> this is how she spies on the pores? No, but she. <laughs> I love how. Just, you can just look at everything down there with your magic fucking. <laughs> They're so close by too. Not even that far away. It's like literally like 10 minutes away. Oh boy. Poverty. Not fun. <laughs> she on like a hunger strike? Cap. 
Cool. Go let the Isekai people be free? What's over there? Oh. <laughs> Harleen Quinzel. Her name is not Harley Quinn. It's Harleen Quinzel and just Harley Quinn. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay. You know what? One thing about this show is very newbie friendly. Because, like, I have no knowledge, as you can see, about DC Comics. I know of the characters' names, but, like, barely know anything about their backstory. Or the fact that Harley Quinn was, like, you know, Joker's psychiatrist and stuff like that. So they're doing a pretty good job just, like, laying down explanation for all the new people watching this. Where the Joker is now? <laughs> the cops are so mean. <laughs> Damn! Is this true? Classic America. <laughs> Joker. So that means that Joker should also bail us out in this isekai jail, but he's yet to be seen. We haven't seen him ever since the... Stuff that happened at the bar, remember? Back on Gotham? What the fuck are they doing? Are you serious? The prison guards here, they just bang the cell with their fucking club all day? Like... <laughs> what? I can't go to fucking sleep! Yo, can't Shark King... King Shark just bite us out of here? Prison break, let's go. Yeah, if it was a regular isekai. Yes. That's why he's like a failed actor, right? At least that's what it was introduced last episode. Let it rip! You were counting that? He counted that? He, he, he can smell numbers. Broken, like, taste colors. He is, like, built different in here. Okay. So, I may have misunderstood this. I thought that if one person runs off, then we're fucked. But it looks like in 60 hours, our heads are going to explode unless we go back to the helicopter. Because that is basically where this middle of the, this radar thing is, right? Because we need to be, we're bound by some kind of proximity. So if we don't get back to the helicopter, we're fucked. But that means moving forward, then we need to stay by the helicopter no matter what. Which makes really no sense either, but we got 60 hours anyways. <laughs> You counted that shit. Okay. What does liberty mean to you? Change the script, bro. Get us out of here. Yeah, you're a mud man, bro. Just get out of here. Easy. What the fuck have we been doing here the entire time? Uh -huh. Oh, shut the fuck up. You better let us get out of here, too. <laughs> Save Harley. Fiona? Prison break! <laughs> you know what? Snitching is for losers, but this is one, you know, case where I'm kind of down. Oh? Whoa. They have sea stone technology, like in One Piece, you know, Devil Fruit users, right? They, they, they can't, you know, use it when they have sea stones. They, they have this shit here, okay? Alright. It's fluorescent, I don't like it. So, oh no! Human stench on it! Hey!
You know what? You know what's the number one important thing to do when you go to jail, guys? Now, nah, I hope this is not, you know, how the fuck would I know? I've never been in jail. I hope you guys don't go to jail. But in the TV shows I've seen, you got to be the craziest motherfucker in day one. First impressions matter. Let him know that you're insane. Fuck this guy up right now. Put a fork in his eyeball. Let him know how crazy you are so no one will fuck with you ever again. You know what's hilarious? I just realized. These are jail suits. Like, we came here with like orange, like jail, like jump track suits on. And now we're in jail in an isekai world with the same fucking jump down. We don't even need a fucking jail uniform. We already got one. <laughs> yeah, metahuman. Maybe we can get along with these guys. King Shark is just still back in the jail cell? I feel like King Shark... Because, like, remember what happened last time? Before King Shark showed up, he was, like, nowhere to be seen. Then when danger happened, he showed up to clutch, right? I feel like King Shark's gonna do the same thing. Or he's gonna be just, like, gone for the longest time. Then when you're not expecting it, when we're, like, about to get bucked, he shows up out of nowhere, chomp, and saves the day. Diplomacy? Diplomacy? What are you gonna do, Clayface? No, he's just capping. He has... He has no fucking clue. He's just going off of straight vibes right now. Rules! Rules! That... <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong! Uh oh! No! I feel like the language bear didn't help, but Mr. Ogre was being very, you know, uh, what's the word? Patient for a while. He was being kind of reasonable, talking the entire time. At like, are you making fun of me? Oh, I see. Let's fucking go with that. <laughs> Oh, 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 the soup, the soup, the soup. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Okay, okay. I was like for a second, like Harley really just beat this guy up with the fucking wooden bowl. It's like, that's pretty impressive. What's more impressive is fucking Peacemaker here, bro. This dude just immediately took down two ogres at once. And a pose. She's pretty strong. Like, I thought she was a lightweight. I thought that her entire thing was like spying espionage. And yeah, she can do close quarter combat, but like one kick and you can kick a ogre down like that? Like that is really strong, huh? So like, how does she have these superpower abilities? Like, I understand that she's a psychiatrist that went insane, but like, hold up, hold up, one second. But like, how, how does she have... How does she have these, like, superhuman, like, strength? Does, does, does the show ever explain? The wands? Magic wands? Hitachi wands? Yeah. Oh, it's King Shark. That wands are pretty OP though, huh? She was an Olympic level gymnast? What? Harley Quinn was an Olympic level gymnast and psychiatrist had a PhD. Her, her resume is crazy. She is like an elite, elite high society of human beings. And then, and then she met Joker, and then and then she get and then she went crazy. Well, I don't know. Maybe she finally woke up from her slumber. Who knows? King Shark's still sleeping. Dude from Japan. <laughs> No, 
Rick Flag is not from Japan. No, 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 no sorry. Because like I'm just so used to the anime that we watch. Isekai, Japanese. But no, no, no. These are American dudes speaking Japanese because it's a Japanese dub. This is Rick Flag from America. All right, what's going on, Rick Flag? Yeah. You're pretty famous. They didn't know? Wait, Deadshot? They didn't know who Harley Quinn... I thought that... I don't know, Harley Quinn is just so easy to spot because of her makeup, just her overall aesthetic, but alright. King Shark. King Shark ain't listening, bro. An episode ago. So she sent Unitor before, and now this backup. Was that Katana Squad? Mm, no, I don't think Katana is here. But I think the girl to the left in the opening was the one controlling the storm. And I was like, yo, X-Men? And then there's some big werewolf guy, maybe? This is the guy? And then there seems to be a pair of twins, maybe? Brother? Siblings? I'm not sure. But, uh... But we got that. Yeah, natural resources. Isekai oil, baby. Pretty much. And that's why it's smart to use these dudes. Amanda could have sent really, really strong heroes but instead was like let's just send in shitty criminals because who cares if they die damn that's cold title drop katana she's already here though bro is still counting in his head bluff it's new for this round with Amanda? Alright. We need to still get back to the heli. We just gotta keep going back to the safe spot for every like 72 hours huh, before we die. King Shark is up! Eat the bars. He wouldn't attack indiscriminately, right? You wouldn't, right? Nanawe? He knows his name? Bite it. Uh oh, Wand is coming. This wand, man. Oh, one time use. We need to get more of those wands. Huh? Make it bigger? Prison lock. Um, okay, prison break for everybody. Let's go. Finish. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> All right, prison break, boys. Let's go. Ooh. Completely stole Clayface's thunder, bro. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Clayface trying to fucking have a moment to have a Victoria speech thing. Shokun, let's get out of here. Nah, nah, nah. My man built different, bro. God damn, Peacemaker's sick. <laughs> More of those bullshit wands, man. What is that? Is that like a rabbit? What is this monster? It's what the it like they summon some kind of like animal like thing and then it's like using some kind of magic spell on it. Got like pentagram. 
What's the soundtrack? You dumbass! He never misses! Oh, I feel so bad. Oh! Oh, is that the ogre from before? It is! We made peace. She respects us, man. We made peace, man. Look at that look of McDonald's, man. Yeah, you ain't so bad. A broom? She's good with stabs, right? A broom will work. <laughs> oh! They're all posing together! You see that? Yo, Peacemaker, as soon as he did the fucking backbreak move, the ogres all pose together. Ugh, Jojo's. Clayface here too. Having way too much fun in this prison break. Okay, here's the queen again. Oh, it's the hero. Bro, the hero's... The hero's hair, bro. The hero's hair. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? It's like the other side is also clapped the fuck up like this side. Oh, if you got rid of the bank, bro, his hairline starts over here. Like, what the fuck is this haircut, bro? And again, in, in this world, maybe it's really fashionable, man. He is the hero after all. Party queen. Is it the same ball? She doesn't have the same voice actor, right? Does does Fiona have the same voice actor as Harley Quinn? Is there a reason why they look so similar? There must be some reason, right? It's, it's not a coincidence, right? What's going on? Yone, actually a good person, working with Cecil to try to bring peace here, but the queen is a piece of shit. It's already conquered! No! Oh, we're in the party. We really don't give a fuck. See, the ogres were all chilling now, together! Yo, we have absolutely no time to be fucking around, but we're like, we don't care. I don't care. We're just here to have fun. Whatever. It's gonna work out. <laughs> and that is the ending. Sorry, that's the end of today's episode of Suicide Squad. God damn, bro. I am still shaken up by Amanda. <laughs> Dude, Amanda actually stole the ending. Amanda, like... The whole, like, I thought Harley Quinn would get whored out for the sake of the ending through fan service, but it was like, nah, it was all Amanda. It was just completely the Amanda show. <laughs> she actually fucking carried. I should have known at the beginning of the ending when she made that fucking pose of just like, look at this, like, look at this. <laughs> this fucking pose, as soon as I saw it, I should have known. Oh, yeah, she gonna fucking take over. And uh, that's that's the ending of uh, today's Suicide Squad episode. Honestly, I'm more excited about the ending than the fucking... <laughs> I'm more excited about this shit than the actual episode itself. Episode itself was pretty good. What did we learn today? Um, We learned that Harley Quinn has a PhD. We learned that she's an Olympic athlete from your chat. We did a prison break. We learned that they have like sea stone, you know, like fucking... You know, your One Piece handcuffs, so you can't use powers like that. The wands are pretty powerful. Rick already came in here with the previous squadron members, but now the Suicide Squad has come in to kind of bail them out because we're worthless criminal scum, so man, they don't care if we die. It is what it is. And the goal right now is to basically get back to the side of the crash, or at least near the gate, so we can reset this 72-hour timer. But what are we doing after we break, break, uh, we break out? We're having a fucking party in the top of the fucking jail, because no one takes this shit seriously, and I think that's the whole point of Suicide Squad, right? There's supposed to be a lot of goofy-ass moments. It's not supposed to take itself seriously, so it's kind of on brand to just, like, be partying here with the rest of our ogre friends and stuff like that. First two episodes, honestly, has been pretty good. I wonder why people are calling this mid. Again, I, I put this shit like minimum like 7 out of 10 so far. Like, I think that's a pretty decent show. It's not like the best thing I've seen, but it's also doesn't seem to have like 
I don't see any jarring problems with the show. The pacing is all right. There's nothing bad about the animation. Like the soundtrack is great. The action scenes are great. Like so far, it's just like a solid seven. I'm excited to see episode three. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.